Hey everyone, Patty here, full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark and Macari, better known as Girl Hustle on YouTube. Today I'm going to share with you what I got for free that have high profit margins. And if you stick with me till the end, I am going to share with you some brands, some tips, and what you need to look for to find those items. So I'm going to get right into this video. I don't like to keep people waiting, but hopefully you're all doing great. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I know I'm a little bit slow at getting these videos out, but I'm trying out. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to get right into this. So yesterday I was out looking to uh, looking for something to do another video on. And while I was out, I should say while me and my husband were out, we were uh, going for a ride and I didn't find what I was looking for. But on this ride... I did find some free stuff and it is crazy what I got for free. So to me anyway, because I've sold this stuff in the past and I know how well it sells. And if you look at the sold listings, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to share the first item that I got because it's the best. And I know people say the best for last, but I'm going to share it because it's the first item I've seen. And as soon as I seen it, I grabbed it. Or I should say I grabbed them. And they are in great vintage condition. Yeah, they were worn, but amazing condition. And they're just in size 10, and I cannot wait to list them. So, we were driving along and I seen a bunch of boxes and I told he went around the block and I got out I was kind of leery with touching stuff but I did wash my hands and everything I had no gloves with me to be honest with you but as soon as I got in the truck I used some uh sanitizer and everything was good so and I came home washed my hands washed the items off but I could not resist these boots these are just in and just look at the condition they're in great condition a little bit of wear on the bottom but I'm thinking I could probably get a hundred dollars or more but I'm hoping anyway the next items check these out all pearl snap shirts so I know the person was Intra, into the country western look or was from there or what but pearl snap buttons I couldn't believe it like really as soon as I came home I threw this stuff in the washer now this one has a little bit of wear at the collar this one's clouds I'm not really familiar with the name but look at the look at it it's just a very very nice shirt the point at collar anyway. just button it up here for you guys so you can get a better look at it my sales have been a little bit slow lately more slower than last week all right, so here it is. You can see a little bit of wear in there at the collar, but nothing that's going to affect anybody from buying it. And I'm thinking I could probably get $50 to $100 for it. I'm hoping. And of course, the three pearl snaps on the bottom. I love it. Such a nice shirt. So there's that one. This one is uh, by Stable Gear. Stable Gear. Not too familiar with the brand, but. Now this one has 
the button there's a little bit of a issue with that button but they are the metal snaps and these are the pearl snaps just button up here for you now there's so are some are there are some certain things that you want to look for when uh buying these shirts oh, oh i never pass up pearl snaps if i see them i buy them all the time however because they're not very easy to find because i like the vintage one the ones from like the 50s 60s and 70s i'm not i mean i do pick up the newer ones but i like to find the other ones and they're harder to find but here's a little bit of what it looks like with I should have had a hanger up here for you and you see the the embroidered uh designs a lot of them have this on it or knit it designs however you want to again the, all the pearl snaps at the bottom of the sleeves I'm hoping this one does as well. I like the colors different. It's kind of like an Indian red. And this is a vintage uh, Woolrich, Woolrich uh, jacket. Men's jacket. Pretty cool. Jean jacket. Two pockets. Size is worn out on there, so I'm going to have to, uh, but there's the good condition. This one's in really good condition. But anyway, that's what I got for free. Can you believe it? Pearl snap shirts and cowboy boots. So it just goes to show, don't sit around. There's, there's money out there when you're not even expecting to find it. Now, yeah, I didn't make it yet, but I know these items are going to sell. Some of them may be long tail items, but they're definitely going to sell. But right now, I'm going to get into sharing with you what you want to look for when you are looking for all snap shirts. Okay, so the longer length ones, okay, they have like kind of a longer length. And the reason for this is, if you don't know, and this is just a little bit of history, if you don't mind me sharing, but the longer lengths were worn a lot to prevent the cowboys riding their horses and from their working out in the field. It was, it was to prevent them from riding up and coming out of their jeans. So the longer lengths are more sought after. The pearl snaps were added back in the 1900s. I actually think it was, I read a little bit into it, I think it was 1946 when uh, the founder, Jack Wheel, there was Rock Mount, blah, 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 sorry. The founder, it was founded, Rock Mount Ra Ranch where was founded by Jack Wheel and he actually lived to be 107 years old. And I also read a little bit into it. He had some with these, uh, now not the particular ones I got, but the vintage pearl snap shirts that he had made and designed were worn by a lot of the famous rock stars. So you might want to read into it because the history of them are pretty cool. Uh, also, the, the, the reason why... The people are, well, maybe not now, but the reason why they liked to wear the pearl snap shirts was they didn't, when they were working, uh, the pearl snaps didn't get caught on the barbed wire fences as easily as regular buttons that would get torn off. So they would just, you know, not get caught. And this is why they have the pearl snaps. Always, 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 like I said, I always pick them up when I'm at thrift stores. You can find them in there between three and five dollars. Uh, some of the some of the names you want to look for. Get a piece of paper. 
big E, okay? They go for hundreds. I seen one going for over $700 last night. Tem Tex, that's T-E-M dash Tex, T-E-X. Wrangler, Carhartt, Levi's, Saddle King. Now I'm gonna get into uh, the boots for you because I don't wanna hold you up. I just wanted to share with you what I found for free. So some of the boot names that go for some really good money, like hundreds of dollars, are Tony Lama, Bukhazy, and I, I do have another video on thrift store finds that uh, do have some of these names in with the cowboy boots. But Tony Lama, Lucchese, Rocket Buster, and I never heard of them, but I see that they're getting a lot of traction right now. Rocket Buster, uh, custom made alligator ones, Dan Post and Justin. I also have a pair of, uh, now the ones that I just found are Levi's, but these are a pair of vintage Levi ones. I actually uh, paid, I think 20 bucks for these. So hopefully they sell soon. Now there's a lot of times cowboy boots, boots sit, but you do get some pretty good money for them. And that's the old orange tag. So, all right. I hope you enjoy, enjoy that video. There's free stuff out there. You just got to be open to it. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later.